Welcome to Graham Games, my name is Graham, this is a game. Today we're looking at Nero Deck, a brand new roguelike deck building game, which is something you've probably heard a million times before. It's also a game that deals with a lot of personal trauma and emotions and depression and things like that. Another trope of indie gaming, but I guarantee you've never seen them put together in this particular way. You're fighting against phobias and you're using emotions and these like BuzzFeed personality quizzes to build out your decks. And it's all layered together in a really unique way. I, I played it for like 10-15 minutes just to make sure that I kind of understood and that it seemed fun and I was into it right away. Lee, she left her country to discover a new world, but has a hard time understanding this new realm. It's the only only option we have currently. <laughs> Makes that first choice a bit of a, a new <laughs> no-brainer. An emotion to explore today. We only have joy to begin with. You have two different resources. You have to worry about stamina and sanity. Emotions are driving your state of mind. They're the basis of a spiritual journey. Your emotions impact your possibilities, your cards. Can you choose an emotion? Are you mastering which emotions you're going through? So with joy, you start with a few random thoughts, comfort food, stress ball, very basic minimal starting stuff to work with. You have just the longest path. It goes, it goes beyond 12. <laughs> Let us start with haptophobia. People can get comfortable with the game before having to worry about dealing with spooky spiders. It's a phobia lurking in your mind. Hapto locks your cards and puts its filthy hands on you. I'm guessing like haptic. It would be like a, a fear of either touching or being touched. I'm guessing it, it, that would make sense. I love, it, it's kind of a bit of a bummer that your character doesn't have any animation, but when you think about the fact conceptually that it's like facing things in your own mind, yeah, you're not gonna see yourself really. Instead, you see these weird physical manifestations, which are all very carefully hand animated, especially when they like cast spells and take damage and stuff. That is probably my favorite part. I think all of this looks so cool. This is its intent, same as you're used to seeing in like Slay the Spire. So at the end of my turn, it will grab me, I lose 10 san 20 sanity, lock two cards for one turn, and a locked card can't be played. I have three action points, I can spend stamina to do special actions like drawing an extra card or ending your turn. If you have nothing left to do, you regain 10 plus 10 stamina for each unused action. So it costs a lot of stamina to do? No, you gain. It's telling me I would gain that much. That makes so much more sense. So he's going to grab me and, and go for my sanity. I have no reason to try to regain anything. So random thoughts. Attack the phobia. Just try and do some damage. Again, too early to bother regaining anything. I can play the stress ball, which gets equipped as an item. And when you're resting, you gain two health at the end of every turn. Your health is basically your sanity in this case. So when I, I take the action to equip it essentially, but I'm not actually using it yet. And I'm glad I've played it off camera to learn that because it took me a while, <laughs> a while to figure out. It would take another action, but not more stamina to then activate it and capitalize on its regenerative processes. So there he's locked in one. I will attack it. My sanity is at risk. Chow down on some comfort food, restore stamina and sanity. I will then activate my stress ball. It hurts the phobia and I will gain two rested. Rested will heal me for two sanity every turn. The free growth. Ah. The, the, why is this, why is its hand so sticky? It's like playing around with glue like a toddler or something. This has a countdown. You can see it's it's probably ticking down by about a third each turn. And you know, random thoughts will finish it off. So I, I can put an end to the battle. But unlike something like Slay the Spire, you actually recover your resources between battles. So here is one way to gain cards. There are a few, uh, a lot of sanity to be gained at the cost of a lot of stamina. Phobia loses 8 HP doubled if it has block. 
an altercation. A decent amount of stamina, but that's pretty powerful. Phobia loses 7 HP for every item equipped. I only have the one item, not that useful right now. You regain 20 stamina and gain one action. This card fades after use, having a, having a, a one-time use thing to just no cost of any resources or action points just get stamina back. I think I like the altercation. Going aggressive. You could also choose to skip. You don't have to take a, a new item. You might notice I have these tr these slots underneath here. They're traits. As you go through different parts of the game, you might just earn traits that modify things. Maybe kind of kind of like relics. Maybe a little more limited than that. Add a card to your deck or duplicate a card from your deck, which may be something like duplicating the stress ball would be useful because then I can just start pumping those out. This costs twice as much and does far less damage than just random thoughts, so I don't think I would do that one. Maybe it's too early. Maybe I'll worry about adding a new card. Probably too early to, to duplicate anything. I don't have anything that cool yet. Sleeping gives you new resources to fight the different obstacles in your life. It helps you reorganize and understand the activities of the past day. So big old <laughs> steaming angry turd. Oh yeah, there's also this which I never really learned what I'm supposed to do with it. Dreams. I had an erotic dream about my roommate. And then it starts typing out in the slowest text I've ever seen anything type in the history of the planet, I think. It's record breaking in that way. It just starts rattling off information. Erotic dreams are not always pleasant. Sometimes we dream about people we never want to do anything sexual with. I dreamed that I was doing it with my roomie. I never thought of her in that way. But like, it's just, why is it so, like, I don't get it. It's just, the point of thoughts is they spill out so rapidly. I don't really know what the slow drawn out things meant to communicate. Altercation, we already have. Draw one card, player gains two wrath. Player does two more HP damage during their turn. Oh, a shitty day. So you just are stronger. You just deal out more damage. Sure, I'll take, I'll take a shitty day. You gotta have a shitty day now and again. Maybe a hard cry after, and then you just feel that much better. You appreciate the good days. <laughs> the Blenophobia will use anxiety to stick on you, causing indirect damage. I don't really know, I don't really know what Bleno is. We will go Arachnophobia. We can fight ourselves a, a spider thing. It'll bite, lose sanity, and lose stamina. A fairly hefty amount of both. I will draw one card, gain the wrath to do extra damage for the next handful of turns, so I can just pump out pretty heavy damage right off the bat. You can see everything recovered, so you basically just have to power through these first few turns. This will gain a bonus. <laughs> Wrath is paying off big dividends very quickly. I had no trouble with that. We've seen these. Dream. Phobia lo loses zero times two HP for every card in your hand, so it's just failing to calculate there. I usually don't have that many cards in my hand. I, I spend them all quite quickly. Probably not worth it. Although I could also... It does cost actions, though, to do the, the move where you draw extra cards. Probably not worth it. Favorite pillow gains four rested. And the phobia loses six HP. That card seems overly powerful, maybe. <laughs> it's a really nice pillow. I liked the look of it, too. Remove a card from your deck. Memorial, it's time to commemorate some events from your past and discard them. I have not really needed the comfort food much, but I know that it is good to have. I could look at sleeping, see what there is. Favorite pillow seems overly strong. Oh, you can only use it twice. Oh, it's an item. It's an item makes way more, <laughs> makes way more sense. That's a thing. That's another thing. Is that while it's in the item slot, it's tied up. It's only after using the item from that slot that it goes back into the deck. And apparently, you can only use it twice in a battle. Right about your day, Phobia loses six HP, and you draw one card. I like the idea 
of stacking those together, having two of those, and I can just heal myself so much if it, if it comes down to it. Transform your capabilities into something bigger, something better. The classroom, a quiet classroom with only a teacher. He agreed to give you advice after classes. So I can choose any card to turn into a broom. Costs 20. You discard one random card. One random card. Oh, it's an item as well, which makes it maybe a little difficult to work with. I could change the stress ball. Since now I have two of my favorite pillows. <laughs> you know, that hurts things for rested. This does more damage. It does do more damage. And it doesn't cost very much stamina at all. Hmm. Having two of those might be insane. I'll transform. I'll get some variety in my deck. Why not? And I will switch things up. Fight the Blenophobia. Tackle as many different things as I can. Gain 15 anxiety. Anxiety is, is poison in this game. So it stacks up. You would lose 15 per turn. And it lasts... Oh, I don't remember how long. But it's not great. You certainly don't want that to stack up at all. I will hook myself up with a couple of fun, fun little goodies, I guess. Yeah, I'll get the I'll get the healing items in place. I could spend stamina to draw another card. Let's do it just to give myself options more options at the start of next turn. I have anxiety to worry about. Next turn, Phobia gains 5 block during its tur turn, but loses 10 sanity. You lose 10 sanity. Oh no. It doesn't have sanity to have to worry about. Bleno will use anxiety to stick damage on you, causing indirect damage. It's going to block, so I should hang on to this to use next time. Yeah, thinking ahead. Uh, I can just do some damage and... Oh, two uses. That's not... It's as an item, it's two uses. It's not throughout the, the game or the round. So I... That's very powerful. Maybe I should have kept two of them. <laughs> uh, having that rested is kind of a direct counter to the anxiety, so that's quite useful. I'll use this before... It even has the block, since that's that's what it's building towards. Five blocks, but I have the altercation. So I should... Does it attack past the block, or does it attack the block as well? Actually, either way. Because if, it's, if it does 16, and he has 10 plus 5, that should just be a one-shot either way. Hanging on to that was the right call. Very decisive end to a battle. Retro gaming. Phobia gains 4 anxiety. I can start poisoning. A big clean. Phobia loses 5 HP. You add 2 big cleaning to your hand. This card fades after use. Would each one then come with that own... That own, like, function? And I just keep spawning those out like an infinite amount? Let's do that. That sounds kind of fun. It seems like it would get overwhelming. Costs quite a bit of stamina. Unlock a new card you'll be able to get in future runs. So this is a cool way that you can kind of start building out the game within a given run. Revive new memories from the past and choose the path for your character. For now, I only have one option. Nero Dex Living Room. Each path unlocks a new card. Let's see which card could fit you the most. As it's set up right now, I only have the one option. Oh no, okay, this is one of the personality tests. I guess I would be an entertainer. When you go out, do you seek to spend time with friends or to meet new people? I do enjoy both, I think, but I think I prefer friends. Just You can just operate at like a lower key, easier level, right? Joy comes from... <sighs> I kind of, unfortunately, gain a lot of joy from material things. I gain joy from both. <laughs> but, like, probably more from material things than I should. Flip a coin. You draw one item from your deck and gain one action. This card is now unlocked. 
find it as a card reward from sleep or a phobia defeat to add to your deck. I think in my like playthrough, where I only played like the first 10 stops or eight stops, or not very long, I think I unlocked a different one. And then I kind of just aborted that run. So I don't know if that stayed unlocked or not. Improve characters' permanent stats at the gym. Will and body are united to carry you toward the different adventures of life. Take care of them. You could do a plank and gain 10 max stamina. I have zero buff out of 50 max and push-ups for extra sanity. I have a lot of things that cost quite a lot of stamina. I don't really have a way to block either, so maybe I should be concerned about that, but I'm concerned quite a bit about the stamina. There would have been would have been another one of those slow typing text things that I don't understand. The tokophobia, which is, I don't know, the fear of either being eaten or of eating something. <laughs> and herptophobia, which her herpetology is like a snake. This one's got like an anglerfish doodle, so I guess it's like an eel. Anything, maybe it's like anything wriggly and long. It's slow but deadly. Tokophobia is a ticking bomb that will grow more and more angry over time. It's like a pregnant lady who's pregnant with a live bird. Oh god, oh that animation is so disturbing. Is that even what's going on there? What is going on in this poor lady's belly? <laughs> She's going to give birth, and I'm going to lose sanity. I, I would lose a lot more sanity than that if this lady just went from no baby to giving birth in seconds in front of me like that. And they gain 10 wrath? That's insane. They have 60 HP? Why are they so insanely difficult to dispose of? That seems like too much. Did that? Oh, okay, it was just temporary. I was like, oh my god, that locked my ability. I'm, I'm stuck, I have nothing. <laughs> I will load up that, and it's too early. Too early, so I guess I'm doing a big clean. Start trying to deal some damage. Oh god, it's so messed up. It's so weird. I will lose 30 sanity, and it gains 20 wrath? Surely there's some way to, like calm this situation before it gets too out of hand, right? It's kind of already a ways out of hand at this point. I feel very limited and worried, so I'm just going to start trying to do damage, I think. That's fine, you can get rid of the big clean, I don't think I'm that worried about it. The big cleans were fine. They cost a lot of stamina. If I had to get rid of anything, oh, it had all sorts of extra arms and stuff. Ew. Reset Wrath. Oh, postpartum blues. That's such a messed up way to tie that in conceptually. But it also, like, makes sense. It's just kind of neat. I'm going to eat some pizza. And I'm going to get some, some rested in me. Seemingly, I'll have like a turn of recovery there. Oh god, it got all saggy. <laughs> and now, birth again, looping, building that back up. But I'm hoping I can just kind of hammer away. I still have wrath, so I think it makes sense to try and push some of that through. <laughs> but you know, not push it like a baby. Mm, I can finish it right now. I thought I was going to have to start looping. It's good. It's good. <laughs> There's a cool battle, though. Kombucha, you regain 15 sanity for every active item you have. So the ones I have specifically in the slots, I guess? You draw one card for every item in your hand. And a grandpa's medal, which I, I don't know the different gems and the eyes. I don't know what those are. Phobia loses 5 HP for each item card played this battle so i would have to use this and then use items i don't have anything that regains actions do i because that would pair really well together i already have all my healing items i should maybe focus elsewhere i'll just get like a snack heal on the fly when things get dicey my deck feels bloated 
but maybe that's not so crazy. Slay the Spire, you start with like 10 cards. So each edition feels like way too many. I We should try out the surveys. They want to probe your mind and give you more tools to defe defeat your phobias. The Nero deck would like to know more about you. Get a special reward at the end. Am I dependent or independent? Oh, I, I don't know yet. <laughs> this, this is what I'm determining, I believe. You have found the time to grab a cup of coffee this morning, haven't? And you realize you're no less energized than usual. You know, I have done both. But sometimes I kind of do it just for the enjoyment. Emotional distress. Phone a friend, even if you know it will cause problems down the line because you only ever call them when something's wrong. Revise breathing exercises. Mm, internalize a lot of stuff. I would never phone a friend, though, I don't think. Which is probably bad. You should probably ask for help. Money worries. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> I will say a soft nope. Make up for lack of sleep with sleep. I mean, I don't. Is that an option? Just don't make up for lack of sleep? Usually I just try to do one or two big sleeping days. It's the evening, your Wi-Fi isn't working. Hmm, I would probably fight and struggle to get it working, and if it didn't, I would read a book. Wouldn't be my first instinct, but I'd get around to it. Independent, on your first turn, you draw two cards. Equip trait, I now have that. Extra little thing that takes place in each battle. I'm on number 10. Eat a dish that will boost your next fight or add a card. I'll go to the kitchen. Cooking and eating are important daily activities that have an impact on your mind and body. I was shocked at a scene in a movie. I'll just, I'll let that play out. What are, we, we have like, a, I guess kind of like a bestiary of the different things in the game. And uh, managing your traits. So I guess you could equip and unequip things. Cool. Just wanted to know what that was about. That movie cut me as deeply as if it had been real. I had already seen similar scenes, yet this one shocked me to my core, to the point that I couldn't get it out of my head. Like the monster in The Ring, the fiction crawled its way out of the screen. I don't know what's up with all this. I just kind of don't care. Probably, I'm just showing it. But I'm probably never going to come back to it. <laughs> Choose a buff for your next fight will apply automatically for just one. The ramen, it's green. It makes me think it's glowing like because it's rare or something. These are tasty ramen. You will draw three more cards at the beginning of your next fight. So between that and my trait, I would have my entire deck in my hand. And ravioli, homemade, super tasty. They improve your max sanity during your next fight. I feel like I'm about to go into like a major boss battle or something and that's why it's queuing me up a little bit it was number 10 we'll try out snake eel boss phobia gains 10 block so altercation is about to become very important it also seems like it would be worthwhile to try and do damage now and i'm gonna queue up the broom so that I, I have that as an option to try and deal out heavy damage as soon as I need to. And next turn, they gain 20 block. And you lose 20 stamina. It's going for my stamina, not my sanity. So good thing I boosted that, hey? That was brilliant. Oh, sure. Bust that out. And it's a good, it's a good way, even though it's random... I have no control over that. It's a good way to kind of burn a card knowing you have a few extra big cleans in your hand when using the broom. It's funny that you're cleaning the cleaning based item with the broom. This satisfies some, some part of my brain. <laughs> I could have four rested. Sanity hasn't mattered yet though. I really have to be much more careful about stamina than, than anything. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use an item that costs a ton of stamina. Great. 
great call. <laughs> I just figured the broom would be a bit better. I'll eat some food. I guess I, I guess I could just try and end turns early to try and regain stamina if things are getting dicey. 60 sanity. It went for it all at once. <laughs> that was... That was how that got balanced out, it would seem. <laughs> Little extra damage. Now I have way too many of these and I kind of want to stop using them. <laughs> yeah, I'll just queue up a big comfy pillow and hope I get my altercation card back here. That's really the main thing I want right now. Thank you. And finish it off. Whew, you love it when a plan comes together. You love it. I love it. <laughs> the stroll. You get passive one turn. Equipping item does not use actions. Cool. So I could use this, gain an action back, so it essentially costs no action, only stamina, and then just equip a bunch of items? Yes? <laughs> You regain 20 stamina and draw one card, two uses, you gain two actions, and it, and it fades after use. The stroll seems cool. I'll try out the stroll. Remove a card, transform a card. Who knows what it could be. Player gains four wrath and you discard one random card. I haven't used this as much as I have the favorite pillow. The damage difference, well, that's in the way. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to see that. It's ruining my ability to see cards will with, ah, uh, I don't remember the number from it. I don't remember the amount of damage. I think, I think it was six or something. We'll transform that one. Favorite pillow, it's six. Damage is six. Eat a dish. Ooh, that will boost your next fight. I thought it said boss fight. It's boost. So just, just the next fight, no matter what it is. I will take a survey again. Delicate or bestial. Hungry pizza. Asparagus velouté pizza. What are martial arts at the movies? Fight a sort of hypnotic dance. Mmm. Uh, there's a good balance of both, you know? Crouching Tiger is, like, beautiful for its, like, dance-like qualities and the floating mysticism. But then you watch, like, Mortal Kombat or The Raid or something. I just want to watch people punch each other. The Raid is a bit of both, though. Kind of the in-between. If you were to choose a pet, a big dog, a zebra finch, mm, never a bird. I basically never want to own a bird. I just feel bad for them, you know? When working, you generally listen to... Vivaldi's Violin Concerto in B-flat Major by the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra, or a strange playlist entitled Most Violent Thrash and Hardcore That Exists. You know, when they give you these A and B options, you're like, well, what about if I just want to listen to folk music or some, some punk rock or, or like literally anything else, you know? But legitimately, I probably have this playlist. <laughs> So, I don't even have to stretch my imagination. You really like this person. You secretly want to catch their eye. Vistial. <laughs> That's all the metal music and thrash. When you discard a card, you gain one rested. Oh, I basically never discard cards, I don't think. But neat. Agoraphobia. It will slowly, slowly deprive you from your soul discards your hand. I do like the anime. Ooh, they're squiggly too, but I like the way they each individually came in. Pointing finger. I also like that it shows you the way it's gonna, like, alternate what it's attacking, so you can plan ahead a bit there. Sanity. Lock two cards for one turn. So I should really work to, like, build up here. So I can use my stroll, I gain the action point back, it'll end, it's in the top left there, uh, free item, is it one item or items? It still cost the, the stamina, so there's that, but it costs zero actions, 
Jeez, that's pretty nuts, actually. I'm then going to use that, gain back some cleanings, and end my turn early. Because that was a dramatic amount of stamina to lose all at once there. They're not blocking, so that doesn't seem quite worth it. Gaining some rest could be good. I could go for a rest, a big clean, and I'll start sweeping. And so the sweep <laughs> gains sorrow. I gotta learn I gotta learn this now all of a sudden. But I was thinking I gain a rested. That was a discard. The broom is a discard, so I, I would have gained the four rested and one extra one from using the broom. Soro, player locks one card <laughs> at the end of their turn for three turns. So they're just trying to lock most things. That would be all my stamina, and I assume I lose at that point. But I would gain a lot of wrath. I'd be real angry. <laughs> so there's that. I guess I kind of mostly chow down on pizza or just wrap this turn up. Eight damage. I could, I'll, I'll build up my rested, but then take some stamina back. Because that amount of stamina loss was getting out of hand. I have some, I have a lot of rested helping me recover there, so I'm not even that concerned about that. I have so many cards in my hand that cards getting locked barely even matters, especially if I keep adding to it like that. Even, I think I might have like maxed out my hand there. I gotta recover a little, a little something, because I think this is getting dicey. Oh, they're whispering about me. Yeah, yeah, time to get the wrath pumping and, and get some stamina back. <laughs> I'm really uh, blasting through stamina here at a, at a worrying pace. Hmm. See, I, ca I can't do that. <laughs> can't or shouldn't. I can afford to lose, like, one. And then I need to gain the rest back. And hope that the wrath kind of pays out on the next turn here. Because I should be able to finish things off. Yeah. Broom doesn't matter what it throws away. And it kind of went to dust, which was not specific to that card. It just fit. <laughs> Tattoos lose 15 sanity. Phobia loses 15. Spiritual beliefs cancel all your modifiers. Phobia loses 1 HP for all stacks canceled this way. You regain 10 stamina. So when I have like 9 rested, does it mean all 9? Because that could be an unbelievably good card. <laughs> Transform each rested into wrath. Playing this card ends your turn. The card fades after use. Oh, things like that are so cool because you could milk the rested for a turn or two to heal and then go all damage after. These are really interesting ways to lean into the specific mechanics of this game. Let's go for the big damage dealer. Sure, why not? Ooh, we're getting more options. And did I just like loop back around? What's going on with the track at the top there? Add a card from your other emotions. Oh, because I'm playing the joy deck. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look at your present self. Oh, is that what the, the eyeballs are? Are the emotion maybe? Shower, you discard all your cards, then draw two. You I angry scribbling, you gain three sanity and three stamina for each card played this turn, you gain one action. This card fades after use. You regain 25 sanity, you create two copies of present in your discard pile. Phobia loses five HP, you gain one action, create one copy of present in your discard. The gift that keeps on giving, very literally. The library, I'll eat a dish. I don't want to add cards, I don't want to duplicate cards. 
max stamina or max sanity. I use a lot of stamina. Oh, the green high, it's just which one I'm highlighting currently, which one I've selected. Makes more sense. Heliophobia. Helio and Nikto are two sides of the same coin flipping each other. Damaging this phobia makes it flip, showing a new face. Or entomophobia, which ent entomology is study of insects. This very annoying buzz of entomo will challenge your, your ability to have effective turns. My turns have been pretty effective. I'm up to a challenge. You lose 20 sanity, phobia gains 40 block. That's, uh, that's too much block. <laughs> There's really very little I can do about that. Hmm. I will draw a new card, because I started with kind of uh, a bunch of stuff that I feel like I can't get a lot out of. So that's always a handy, a handy tool to have when you feel stuck. Well, 40 sanity, Phobia gains 20 block, and on its last turn will remove all of its block? Yes, because otherwise how will I ever do any damage? I will use the stroll strictly to equip this, I guess. I still have to pay all the stamina to do it. I'll eat a snack, and I'll, I'll clean up some mess. I'm just kind of doing things at this point. My sanity is not that damaged, so I'm not that worried about it. Whatever, man. I mostly just need to know if he's going to lose his block. Good, but he gained new block. It replaced. Phobia gains 10 wrath and 5 rested. Yes, this fight is, is not great. <laughs> I am going to regain a bunch of sanity. Necessary step, I would say, for sure. Useful broom. I'm going to get that broom in place and recover some stamina. This isn't going well. I will say, this is not very effective turns. It's doing its job. It's about to do so much damage. Half, half my, my damage. See, this would be much more effective if you had block up, but it always puts up an amount of block that doesn't even make it worth attacking. So it makes me think I have to... Oh, please don't discard altercation. Oh, good. <laughs> I basically have to lay into this thing this turn specifically as much as I can. 10 stamina. It's not going to attack my stamina, so I can afford to give up some stamina. Oh, it's so close. No. But if I can just hold out now, now all I have to do <laughs> is add like 50 or 40 sanity in one turn. Shit. I uh, don't think I can actually. I thought I'd put myself in, oh, such a good place. Oh, it's great. I could, I could use that again, which is funny, and just go crazy on the wrath, but it's not going to do anything for me. I was just thinking if I use that to get that rested in place, but I would only gain four. I would literally gain more just eating this pizza. <laughs> and maybe trying to draw a card? I don't have anything. I don't have anything that gains that much sanity. I left myself like so vulnerable there. I literally couldn't couldn't recover enough for it. The phobia defeated your mind. Your body is still up and running, so maybe you can give it another try to solve the Nero deck. And see, I kind of exited the game mid run last time. Huh? It didn't it didn't have like a post scene to show like experience gained? Because I guess your unlocks are happening within the run, not not at the end like they would in say Slay the Spire. I figure. I could throw the credits up on the screen for, for a minute, sure why not. Collection. There's only the one character I can play as currently. Base. Sadness. 
what I have unlocked. Not a new character. You unlock them during a run, so maybe not even necessarily winning a run. And additional emotions. Finish the game and finish the game. Yeah, so I would have to win a... It's either Lee or Leia, but I would have to win a, a Joy Run. Nero Deck is coming to Steam, Switch, and GOG on March 18th. I'll have links down below. You guys can keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.